So today all I'm really worried about is putting a little bit more straw in these calf shelters. I'm just kind of building them up a little bit more. So with how wet and uh, sloppy it's been lately, I want to make sure there's a nice straw bed inside these shelters. I'm not worried about putting any new straw out here on the cow's uh, straw bed. Because we're supposed to have some more snowstorms keep rolling through here over the next two or three days and it's supposed to drop a decent amount of snow. So it's almost like a waste of money to put out a lot of straw on the ground just to get it snowed on. So I'm just worried about these calf shelters right now. So for those of you that might look in here and see a pretty decent straw bed already, you can tell like here towards the front of the shed how wet and sloppy it's getting. So you don't have to come back in here and dig down you know, too far to get down to the wet, wet sloppy straw. So I just want to make sure I keep that new, new straw piled up on top of this older stuff. So I just try to keep things as clean and as comfortable as I can for these new calves. Good morning everyone. So today we woke up to three new calves. Just about six inches, six and a half inches of new snow. So I already went out there and fed our bottle fed calf and did, did my rounds and checked on things. So I gotta go back out there and check on all these new calves and get them tagged and vaccinated, see how they're doing. So we've got a, a busy day ahead of us. I've had people mention this in the comments before and I, I tend to agree with them but whenever these low pressure systems roll through here it seems like it puts these cows into labor and it seems like they like calving in the middle of a snowstorm. So I'm gonna run over to the machine shed and I got a whole bag of these burlap sacks that I'm gonna grab. They're great to draw off the calves with because they're pretty rough and they just seem like they wick away that moisture. So I'm gonna grab two or three more of those and see if we can get these calves right off and see if we need to take any and put them in the warmers or not. <laughs> Come over here to the milk barn real quick and make sure this is shoveled out so we can get through the doorway if we need to. Let's go find our first calf. We'll start with one and just work our way through them. So when I was out there already feeding that bottle calf, I looked at all three of them new calves and luckily all three of them are standing up, which is a great sign. So we'll just see how they're doing. So the first one's right there by that red cow just laying down. So I've heard this mentioned in other videos on YouTube or you know TikTok, wherever. <clears throat> People are concerned about the amount of snow on the back of the cows, but you know usually that's a good sign. So the cows are so well insulated that they're, they're not even losing enough heat to melt the snow off their backs. So that's how well insulated the cows are, so, and that's the amount of heat they lose. You know, not, it's not even enough to melt the snow that's on their backs. So. So 
So I think this one here is the freshest. It seems pretty slimy still. Hey mama. So I think I'm gonna take this calf and get it up to the warmer and just get him or her in the warmer. I'll go out and do these other two while it's warming up. So let's do that. All right, well, she's done, heifer calf. And the other one, they already ran off, so that calf isn't doing too bad if it's able to keep up with his mom. We'll go try to catch him and then you know, t tag and vaccinate him, and we'll just have to keep an eye on these guys real close today, see how they're you know, faring the weather, and we'll take care of that one in the warmer. So we'll just reload our vaccines and tag her. And I can already tell that the other, the other new calf's a, a bull, so we'll get the bander ready to put the, the castration bands on him. I'm sure you can't see, but I think that cow went and put that calf in that shelter, which is great. So I'll see if I can go up there and keep it inside the shelter, you know, and do all my vaccines and t uh, tags, and hopefully he'll just stay in there, and that'd be a perfect place for him to stay throughout the day. Brought extra vaccines with me this time because I knew I had all these calves to worry about. And just with it being the type of day that it is, I've been giving these calves uh, some of this vitamin paste, the probiotic, whatever this is. So I've been giving them five grams of this too, just to hopefully give them that extra boost of energy they need today. That's ready. Our tagger's ready. Our bander's ready. Vaccines are ready. We'll go get that calf. So that's the mom there. I'm hoping that she put that calf right in that shelter and I can get in there and not have to worry about the mom you know running me over unless she unless she breaks through that bar and then I'm trapped in there. I've worried about that before. See her in there. Oh there she is. Easy cabbies. Easy cabbies. So there he is in the back corner. It's perfect. Let's try to do everything in here, not get him too riled up, but he'll just want to lay down and stay in here. His mouth is nice and warm, so that's a good sign. Easy cow. Just a little information here. This is that calf that we saved out of the slough the other day. He's doing great. Mom's still pretty ornery. And that's the calf we just doctored's mom right there, that baldy face one, number 31. So I started a timer when I left that calf in the calf warmer, and it's been about 25 minutes. 
So we got these two calves taken care of. So I'm probably gonna leave her or him in there for another 35 minutes and pull it out. You know, probably I'm probably gonna give this one a half of a dose of colostrum just because I don't think it's been, I don't, I don't think it sucked yet. So I just wanna do a half a dose because when I bring it back out, I want it to be hungry enough that it's gonna have some energy and wanna, you know, suck off the mom. So until then, I'm just gonna run back in the house and get reset, dry off a bit, and then we'll run back over to the milk barn. That calf's staying in the shelter, luckily. He's probably tired and just wants to take a nap. And the mother two are still over there. So let's let him be for a bit. So when I bring that other calf out from the warmer, I'll go back out here and check on these two, if they're still all the way out there, to see how that calf's doing. And if it's not doing very well, we'll swap him and put him in the warmer. And then just keep an eye on him throughout the day. I was saying this one in the in the calf shed though, he seems like he's got plenty of strength and his mouth was nice and warm. So I think all he needs to do is just sit in there and dry off a bit and take a nap. So I think we got lucky that we went to that one first over there by the slough, because I think she was the worst one out of the bunch. So glad we got her in the warmer first. Well, I think instead of going inside and relaxing for a minute, I still haven't put the plow back on this truck. So I need to get that plow on there so I can plow some snow here a little bit. What are you doing? I'm shoveling out all this snow is when I come in here I don't want to pack down all the snow with them front tires because then that's gonna make my mounts hit sit you know higher than what they should be so I just want to clean up all the snow so I'm gonna sit you know the same height as when I drop the plow off Ooh, piker. I just want to make sure the plow worked fine. It's been about an hour since we've had that calf in the warmer, so we'll go take care of that before I even start worrying about plowing. See, we're starting to get a decent amount of snow though. It is wet and slick today. It's just that right temperature. Once it gets packed down, it just turns into ice, so it's gonna be slick. Hopefully I don't get stuck today plowing. So I'm gonna go inside, get my vaccines ready, get my tagger ready. And like I was saying, I'm gonna give it a half a dose of colostrum before I bring it back out to its mom. So it took me a little bit longer than I wanted to to get back over here. We're about just over an hour and a half by the time I took care of those other two calves and got the plow hooked up. Check on this guy. Hey, Kiffy. Hey, Kiffy. How you doing? Mouth's nice and warm again. Oh yeah. So yeah, we'll just probably wipe him down a little bit, drench him, vaccinate him, tag him, take him back out to his mom and hopefully the mother up all right. <laughs> Seems like he's doing pretty good. He's up and going, looking, he's looking. I'm so used to having to stomach tube all these calves and I don't know that I've ever really given a, a bottle to a newborn. This is kind of a nice surprise. Easy. It's gonna be a little more time consuming though, I guess. A pretty good mom she's still sitting here where we took that calf from That's exactly what I want to see. See how that calf's already going in, trying to suck in? He's on the wrong end, but he, he's trying. So 
So let's leave them alone and let them get mothered back up. We'll check on our other two calves. So there, there's our other new calf right there. So he stayed in the in the shed, which is great. Here's his mom. I just heard him beller, so he's probably hungry and he's gonna come out and suck here soon. But he's standing up and looking for mom, so that's a good sign we'll leave them alone too. Her mouth is kind of warm too and she seems all right she's up and moving i think i might grab her too though and just run her back to that warmer maybe for 45 minutes an hour just get her dried off and so she's ready to go here comes mom and that other calf we just brought out of the shelter they're on the move Oh, he's trying to climb up that snowbank. Fall right into the slough. Look, calf, look at this nice path right here. I don't know why you went up. I don't know why you went up and over that. Had this calf in the warmer for about an hour just drop it back off with its mom they're doing all right so everyone seems to be squared away here for a bit so i'm gonna start piling some snow snowed a bit more since we took our last measurement so let's see what we got in total looks like we got just almost 10 inches of snow so put down a decent amount of snow like i said it's pretty wet snow so it's slick so i'm gonna plow snow then here in two or three hours we'll go out and feed the cows and we'll check on everybody again. It seems like it's starting to clear up too. Hopefully this is the tail end of it. Then tonight like normal we get these big storms that go through and then they seem to suck in the cold air behind it and it's calling for five to ten below tonight so we'll see how cold it gets. It's been a busy day. Else, can you come outside with me? Yeah! Okay you ready? Thank you. Where's your pants at? <laughs> uh huh? Where's your pants? In the bathroom. In the bathroom? Okay. You look good. You won't get cold. <laughs> so tonight I'm gonna feed in a pretty tight circle around these shelters just with how cold it's supposed to get. And down around the shelters we'll just work our way out you know, over the next couple days. Still got some daylight. I'm gonna do a check on these three calves that we just had today. Like I said, it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight. You can already feel it. There's a breeze blowing in from the north, so it feels pretty chilly already. So we have we've actually got two of them right here. So this is the second one we ran into the calf eater. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Earlier. Ah. He's his mouth's nice and warm. Seems like he's doing good. This is the first one we had in the calf eater that we drenched a little bit. His mouth's nice and warm also. 
So these two look like they're doing good. So we'll see if we can't find that black ball, the, the one that was in the calf shed earlier. So that's a newer calf, but that's not the newest ones from today. We'll check on him too, just cause. Hey, Kibby. His mouth's nice and warm. So that was our newest calf besides these three that we had today. I always love when they're in here in the straw. Once I get that figured out, that's one thing less I have to worry about. A bunch of them in here. Okay, so that one back there, that's our bottle fed calf. So we'll need to come back out here and feed him tonight. And right here, number 16. This is the one that we rescued out of the slough a few days ago. All right, there's our baldy calf from this morning. A bunch of calves in here. Easy calves. Oh yeah, his mouth's nice and warm too, so he's doing all right. We'll just leave him all curled up in this straw. I'm glad I came out here last night and freshened up these calf sheds with that new straw. I think they're liking it. So because it's supposed to get so cold tonight, I'm gonna go over here and feed in this other pasture also. Then tomorrow, I'll, all I'll have to do is open that gate and let the cows into that pasture. And and we won't have to start any tractors tomorrow. I fed them a little bit extra today just because of these blizzards that we had and the, and the cold weather coming. So that should help them out a bit to get through the night. So I just finished laying our hay out for tomorrow. And the last thing that I need to do tonight is go get a bottle ready and go feed that bottle calf. I guess we better figure out a name for it. So I don't have to keep calling it the bottle calf. Then other than that, we should be about done. And with it getting as cold as it's supposed to get tonight, I'll probably come out here two or three times through the night just to check on things and make sure we're not having any new calves. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Have a good day.